Europe's Premier Club competition returns this week with four matches from the second leg of the UEFA Champions League round of 16. There's eight teams looking to mark their place in the next round of the competition and I'm going to predict all of the matches and who I think is going to win. So before we start, all matches this week and next week are of course an 8pm kickoff. So we'll start with Tuesday's matches and we will start with the first of it, four English teams, Borussia Dortmund against Tottenham. Of course, Tottenham were 3-0 winners in the first leg at Wembley thanks to a first half goal from Son and two late goals from Vertonghen and Llorente. This match incidentally will be on BT Sport 2 on Tuesday night. Dortmund have only won one of the last seven games in all competitions and that was a 3-2 home victory over Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. Spurs on the other hand, they've had a pretty torrid time at the moment. They have not won since the first leg against Dortmund, losing two matches against Burnley and Chelsea and then drawing the North London derby against Arsenal on Saturday. So with neither side playing particularly well in recent games, I think the home advantage could show for Dortmund and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Dortmund victory. Now if you're looking for anyone to get a goal, I'm not going to go for Dortmund, I would go for a Tottenham player. I think Harry Kane, he has scored two on his last three since returning from injury and I think he'll probably get another one on Tuesday. If it's not him, it'll probably be Son. But it's a 2-1 victory for Dortmund, which would obviously mean that Tottenham still qualify for the next stage of the competition. The other match on Tuesday is Real Madrid against Ajax. Now this one is live on BT Sport 3 and Real won the first leg 2-1 despite a couple of first half scares from Ajax with the, them hitting the post and controversially having a goal ruled out via VAR. But Benzema gave Madrid the lead in the second half. Zayek then equalised for Ajax before Marco Asensio grabbed a late winner and a second away goal for Real to put them ahead leading into this second leg game against Ajax. Now, Real have only won one of their four games since the first leg, losing the other three, which included two consecutive games at home to Barcelona, which they failed to score in. Ajax, on the other hand, have won all three of their games since their first leg defeat, scoring 13 and conceding just one in those games. However, Ajax have lost their last seven games in European competition against Real, scoring only three and conceding 22. So I think Ajax might grab a goal, but Real are going to have too much for them and it will end 3-1 to Real Madrid, despite the fact that Sergio Ramos is not going to be able to play for Madrid. I think Madrid are going to win this one 3-1, obviously sending them through 5-2 on aggregate. Now on Wednesday's matches, and the first of which is FC Porto against AS Roma. This one is live on BT Sport 3. First leg, it... It was a bit boring to start with, but it came to life for 20 minutes to go when Zaniolo scored a quick-fire double to put Roma 2-0 up before Adrian grabbed an all-important away goal to keep Porto in the tie. Now, the last Champions League match between these two at Estadio do Dragao ended in a 1-1 draw, and Roma have never won a competitive match against Porto at this stadium. Now, Porto have won three of their four matches since the first leg, scoring in each of those and only losing to their rivals, Benfica, by two goals to one at the weekend. Roma, on the other hand, they've won two of their last three matches since the first leg, but they also lost to rivals Lazio 3-0 in Serie A on Saturday. Both teams lost huge games against their rivals at the weekend and will be hoping to bounce back by winning and qualifying for the next round of the competition. But I think they are going to match the scoreline from the first leg, but I think Porto will win it in normal time. I see a 2-1 victory for Porto in the 90 minutes, but I still think that Roma will qualify after extra time. I'm not going to predict a scoreline for that, but I'm saying a 2-1 Porto win in 90 minutes, then Roma to win after extra time. And the final match of this week's Champions League fixtures is PSG against Manchester United. This one's live on BT Sport 2 on Wednesday night. And PSG, of course, won the first leg pretty comfortably in the end. United played well in the first half, but injuries to Martial and Lingard by half-time stopped them in their tracks. And this led to PSG going in for the kill with goals from Kimpembe and Mbappe. Pogba was then sent off for United, so he is unavailable for the second leg match. Now, PSG have won all five of their matches since the first leg, scoring 14 and conceding just two, whereas United have won three of their four games since the first leg, beating Chelsea, Palace and Southampton, and only dropping points in a 0-0 draw with Liverpool. 
But PSG are unbeaten at home in this competition this season, and I can't see that changing. I think, unfortunately, Manchester United are going to be heading out of the Champions League at this stage. I do think they'll get a goal on Wednesday night. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw in Paris. PSG to go through 3-1 winners in aggregate. So that's all my predictions for this week's UEFA Champions League round of 16 second leg matches. Let me know your predictions in the comments section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out. Enjoy the Champions League football this week. I'll be back on Friday with a predictions video for the Premier League. And until then, I'll see you next time.